Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where we talk about to be or not to be. We drink coffee with the Bitcoin B and we try to be happy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I know that it's difficult this morning. This is um, not nice to wake up with a Bitcoin price at 27k. Um, I know you're freaking out. I know I probably am not able to change your mind or to whatever um, change your mentality to the Bitcoin market at the moment, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. Okay, so let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what I'm thinking at the moment. Now, bam. First one. Um, the first one is um, the four hour chart. Really quickly going through it, but not taking too long. We can see in the four hour chart that we, um, the Bam Bam told you to short over there when we crossed that yellow stepping line. And we tried to break that stepping line, but we didn't. And every time when we didn't, we should stay in that short because there's a lot of yellow and blue in the bottom and we can see the white line going down so that would have been an amazing short if you would have stepped out it would have been on this point here at 30k 700 and that would have been an, an amazing um short of course with a lot of profit that white line has almost never gone below that green line we came to the green line we bounced here in the bottom the bam bam we went up and we are coming down a little bit again so we can go a little bit deeper to bounce again from that green line but let's zoom out guys because that is now the important thing to do um, the important thing for us is to understand the moments that bitcoin goes bearish like this are not the moments to freak out these are the moments to do something completely else and i'm going to show you that this is the gaussian channel Every, channel, every candle is five days. Every time when we break that Gaussian channel, we almost fell down below 50%, like we can see over here, and like we can see over there, 40%. At the moment, we are at minus 30%, down below that channel. So yes, we can fall a little bit more, but um, you can see 50, 40, maybe only 35% or something like that. We don't know. It can also be 40%, guys. But every time we fall down below that far, what do we see in the charts? Every time we fall that below, far, fall that far below, we see that the candles are reversing to the upside. You see this? We bounce and we go up again. And we bounce and we go up again. And every time when we bounce and we go up, that red area turns green. Here we had the same, guys. I can calculate it for you from there. Bam. Even 60%. You see? 60, 50, 40. Is this going to be 30% down below the channel? But every time when we come down below, the red area turns green. And that is the ultimate buying opportunity. The ultimate buying opportunity. The ultimate buying opportunity. When we will turn green again, it will be the ultimate buying opportunity. Does that mean you should not be buying now? That is something you need to decide before yourself. But you can see that when it turns green, the price already moved up. It's still an ultimate buying opportunity. But the bottoms, of course, are the ultra, ultra, ultra buying opportunities. And they mostly happen in those red areas, like you can see. Okay, very important. Now we go to the weekly. On the weekly, we have two very important lines. I'm going to tell you about this a little bit more in the later part of the video as well. But the 200 weekly moving average, that one is now around almost 22,000 US dollar, has been support through completes all Bitcoin's history, guys. We have gone wicking down below it but we always kept support, like really sharp bounces back. And sometimes the line was support. So that one is at 22K at the moment. So yes, that is higher than the previous all time high. So that could be the ultimate support level at the moment. Um, if we come near this line, that is an ultimate buying opportunity. And that is what I want to tell you, because if you look back in history of Bitcoin, let's go back. Let's go all the way back here to 2014 and 2013. And we saw the price going down. 
Yes, do you think these people in this area over here were freaking out? They were. They just had a local top. I was there of 1200 US dollar and we fell all the way to 200 dollar. It was maximum pain. In hindsight, if we have, would have bought a shitload of Bitcoin in that maximum pain area, we would now be very happy. Then those people start to buy again and start to make profits all the way to 20k. Then from 20k we fell all the way to 3k. Do you think the people that bought at 20k and then saw the Bitcoin dropping to 3k, they were freaking out? Yes, they were experiencing maximum pain. Should they have bought more Bitcoins during that period? Dollar cost average into Bitcoin all the way up to 3K? Yes. Did they buy up Bitcoin in that period? Probably no, because they were feeling maximum pain. They thought Bitcoin was going to go down to zero. It was finished. Now we see the same. If they would have huddled, they would still be in profit. Now people bought at 60, 70K. We are going down. Those people are feeling maximum pain. Do you think they should be buying more at the moment? If they would be buying more, they would experience maybe a little bit more drop down to that line. And what do you think that will happen after that? Do you think that we continue the cycle to an upwards movement above 100k in the next couple of years? So you can feel maximum pain now, but mostly when you feel that maximum pain, these are the best buying opportunities. The confluence floor model, that's the green line, is showing us a floor of 27,999. We should be bouncing from that model if we look back in history. Um, but again, that's a pretty new model, but I'm going to show you that later. It's on the day chart, so the candle needs to close then above 27,999. If not, that floor model is broken. Weekly. This is the chart you have seen for many times. I added some stuff. First of all, we have seven red weekly candles in a row. This is the first time in history we have experienced seven red weekly candles in a row. Six was the maximum in 2014, I showed you already in the video. Seven has never happened. So this is a very awkward situation. Now, if we look at those red vertical lines, they are there because that was when the price of Bitcoin was 30k. <clears throat> the first time the Bitcoin price was as 30k, the RSI, that's the bottom part of the chart, was oversold. We were at levels like 90. The second time we hit 30k, the RSI was around the mid area. The third time when we hit 30k, the RSI was around the mid area, like 50. This time we are going to hit 30k and below even, now we are at 27k, the RSI is at the bottom. If we look back in history to the moments that the RSI was at the bottom, that was mostly those moments that people felt maximum pain. But if we look back in history at those moments that those people felt maximum pain when the RSI was at the bottom. To show you a few moments over there, over there, over there, over there, and over here, maximum pain. But what does the RSI do after touching the bottom? We don't go further down below that bottom, we rebounce. And when we rebounce, that is when the price reverses. So maximum pain again means to me buying the bottom or the dip, however you will call it. Now quickly jump into some more very interesting charts guys. Now let's go over here. Bam. Um, this video is going to take a little bit longer than you use, but I want to make, uh, I want to give you at least a little bit of positive feeling on these like bearish days. This is the confluence floor model. This is the model we were just talking about. I will make my face a little bit smaller like this. This model is telling us that we are at 27,999 should be the bottom. This red line is increasing with $100 like every day or week, something in that area. I don't know precise, but 
the bottom at the moment is 27,999. And that floor model, the conference floor model, has been indicating the bottom every time perfectly, like you can see up there, there, and there. So this is that moment, our ultimate hope that we keep this model intact that the day candle closes above 27,999. If we do so, again, this floor model proved to be right. And every time when we touch that red line, just look what happened after. We touched it here, we had a huge run. We touched it there, 3 to 14k run. We touched it here, 3 to 60k run. We are touching it here almost again. Depending on the daily close. If we look at this chart, um, I need to make my face a little bit smaller again. Um, I found this one on Twitter. This chart is showing us as well that every time when you see these huge drawbacks in the Bitcoin here, these blue spikes to this green line, that would be an awesome moment to buy because that was here. And here we saw these blue spikes again to the green line. And if you would have bought, we would see the result. And here again, and here again. And at the moment, we are seeing this again, guys. We are again seeing these blue spikes all the way to that green line. If we look back into history, to the last four times, the price after that bounced. Okay? Now, we go into Glassnode. Who is selling? The people that are selling at the moment are the bigger wallets. Because the wallets between 1,000 and 10,000 Bitcoins per wallet, they are selling. These are bigger than 1,000. You can see that they are selling. If we look at the wallets bigger than 10,000, so here you can see, guys, that the 10K plus wallets have been buying all the time. Now you can see the little dip, yeah, over there. But that's because I think of that whole Luna UST uh, debacle. Uh, but on average, those big wallets were buying. And you can see this here on this chart as well. This chart, <clears throat> again, is the stock to flow deflection. How far are we away from the stock to flow model? And if we look at that one, <laughs> we haven't been that low since the last 30K to $70,000 bounce. That was this area when we went that low. And we bounced. So we are at that level again. And we haven't been that low in history many times, guys. We haven't been that low in history. Never. Also telling us the market could be reversing. And then we have another chart. That is this one. Telling us exactly the same. This one is the MVRV Z-score. I have been sharing these charts many times. And we can see that every time we came into that green box would be a multiple buying opportunity. And we are nearing that green box. I didn't expect us to near it. I thought we would keep this uptrend line. We are still keeping it, but you know, we are experiencing some really um, troubles in the market because of what happened with the USD and Luna and many other stuff. So we could go to that green box. But again, if we go into that green box, that is a maximum buying opportunity. Now, it sounds very easy. It isn't. You feel maximum pain. I feel the same pain. I see my capital going down with 30% as well. I'm all in. I do have a little bit US dollar teeters left and I'm going to spend them because I'd already spent a little bit of 30K and I'm going to spend a little bit of 27K. And if we fall all the way to 20K, I will buy a little bit as again. That is dollar cost averaging into it. The positive part is that my dollar yesterday came um, back from the carnival and she gave me this one. And this one does make me realize every time again to the songs of all those beautiful reggae artists that say, don't worry, be happy. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Keep your head cool. Believe in the Bitcoin four-year cycle. Believe that we could go up again in the next couple of years. And if you believe this and understand the 21 million cap of Bitcoins, then you should be buying these moments you feel ultimate fear. Ultimate fear is the moment you buy. When the blood is on the streets, you start to buy. Now, I hope I uh, gave you a little bit more peace of mind, but um, 
probably difficult at the moment to understand. Uh, Again, if you did enjoy this uh, content, this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think that the bottom is? Now, uh, I wish you an amazing Thursday. Probably some of you will have a headache, so make weekend already. Uh, I wish you an amazing weekend, and I want to say congratulations to all those people that have been shouting that I will buy the dip when Bitcoin is 25k or 24k or 27k. The moment is there to buy that dip. Now, now it's up to you to be or not to be. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!